So just a quick video to show how to add a headland management button on the joystick via canvas for Massey Ferguson support to Tony's canvas INO code. So I'm just going to race through this. Obviously I've kind of done it already before, so there's going to be a bit of copying and pasting, but the idea should be kind of similar for pretty much anything. So I'll try and explain it as I go. So first of all, we're going to set up a variable to store when the last canvas command button was sent and that way we can prevent it bouncing. Uh, if you hold down the button what you'll see is because the joystick sends a signal every you know dozens of times a second um, then you'll see the status change as the button's pressed and then the status go back to normal. And this makes it kind of hard to decide whether the user is turning something off or turning something on. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll just go through here and we'll find send can. I'll just kind of keep everything in the same place, and we're going to put in just a timer button or a timer value here, and this is just going to be a tick since the last time we did this. Uh, there's nothing particularly special about it. See there, trying to make things look tidy on there. <coughs> so this is the time from the last can command that was sent. So we'll save that one. This is in our main INO file. So the next one we're going to look at is the can all brands. <coughs> so if we look at this, I'm using Visual Micro by the way, but you can use anything you like. Uh, it doesn't have to be Visual Micro. You can do all of this in the Arduino IDE. You don't need it. Uh, it just makes it a little bit tidier for me. <coughs> so the first thing we need to do is get. Um, a filter set for Massey. Now Massey is the same as Valtra in the code, it's brand 1. Uh, and this is just worth pointing out by the way, this code here was tested on Massey Ferguson for the headland management button, although the steer curve and the wheel angle sensor are the same for Massey Valtra. The headland management ID button might not be, so you might need to go and look at the canvas messages uh, as seen in the other video and work out how that happens. Now the VBAS on Tony's board is CAN3, that's the steering bus, but the joystick is not on the steering bus. So we can get around, forget all this talk about VBAS and claiming VBAS addresses. Addresses, As you can see ISOBAS is CAN2, but it's not on that bus either. It's actually on the K bus. So what we're going to do is after all these rejections, we're going to add in some code for brand one. or allow messages through for the Massey Ferguson joystick. Uh, that's all this code is doing. It's dropping anything that it's not interested in. Uh, anything that doesn't make it through the filter uh, won't end up in the buffer for processing. So you've got to set a filter. As you can see the default here is to reject everything. So here we're just saying, and this is what's coming through, you'll notice there's not a lot on this, but then this is the tractor bus, it's not the steering bus, whereas the VBAS has settings for every manufacturer, here it doesn't, this is very much a case-by-case -case basis. VBAS send, we're not interested in, so we'll just hide that to skip past it. VBAS receive, ISO receive, and K receive is what we're going to be interested in, because we're on the K bus. And it's a lot of typing here, so I'm just going to copy and paste what we need in here. So. As you can see, Tony's put a comment in there. Put code here to sort out a message from KBAS if needed. So, we're going to say if brand equals one, and this is the Massey Ferguson headland engage button, but that's what we're going to be looking for. So our ID is 0x45A, and as I said, the steer video, how to, not the steer video, the canvas sniffing video will tell you how we arrived at that. And what we're going to do here is say if it's been more than a second, since we last received this and the button state is pressed, in other words 4, and again you'll see what that's there. Then we update the last can command. So we say, for example, if we last pressed this one and a half seconds ago, then we update this to be one half se one and a half seconds ago. The global video intend to steer. If it's intending to steer, that means it's not steering at the moment. So we'll turn on the LED, we'll set engage can to 1 and relay time. I've got no idea what that is. Otherwise, we'll assume that basically we're already steering. So we'll send it to low, we'll say engage can equals zero, and that should be that. How did I get this code here? Well, I stole it because 
all these other sections seem to have it and that saved me trying to work out what to do so that's how I got to basically writing up all the code that's necessary so let's just see if this compiles see the little green bar down the bottom there these are just some warnings we don't need to worry about those but if the little um, teensy dweeno flasher pops up we'll know we've got it right and it's on my other monitor but there it is up it came so we haven't introduced any bugs and we've done it correctly so that's how to set up how to not only find a canvas id in the other video but how to utilize it in Open GPS and hopefully um, this winter I'm going to be almost writing something so that all this will be done via a config file uh, within the main AOG itself and then that way nobody's going to have to go through all this pain again and that's about it, there you have it